So I wanted to make a unicorn girl, and as you can see by my scribble notes, um, well, I want her to be barefoot, lavender eyes, some gemstones, and like a lace dress and such. And then we have some more details on the lace and some eyes and the horn and that kind of jazz. But, let's get started. This is the doll that I'm going to be using for my unicorn doll. I completely, um, forget her name. I think it's Bunny Blanc, and she's a Ever After High doll from... Uh, she's the daughter of the White Rabbit, I think. As you can see, there's some discoloration on her face, but hopefully some acetone will get rid of that. What even is an intro? Like, hi, my name is Fanna, and thank you guys so much for watching. I am making a unicorn doll, as I said before, and I'm using a Bunny Blanc doll. And she has really nasty, stiff hair, which is really terrible. So you just cut it off, and you rip it out of her head, and it's a long process that I didn't really want to show. Then you take pure acetone or nail polish remover to remove the face. I also took the head off the body just to make things a little bit easier for me. It's just, it's easier to handle, and it's, I just prefer removing the head from the body. This face sculpt has a very, very um, particular uh, like eye mold shape, which is a little bit difficult. But um, yeah, what really inspired this doll was this rainbow yarn that I already have. So I use a wire comb and uh, some strips of the yarn and make sure to section it off into the different colors to make some hair wefts. Uh, usually I would um, flat iron the wefts, but I wanted to keep it uh, in its natural state. To make the wefts a little bit longer, I unfold it and then kind of hand unravel it a little bit. Um, and it just makes the wefts a little bit longer. I also, this is my first time rerooting hair, which was a, uh, a lot of fun, but took forever. Uh, what you do is you just can uh, use an X-Acto knife handle and a, um, a cut needle and just pop it into the head and then glue it all on the inside when you are done. I actually put, like, I over rerooted the hair, but I really love how it turned out, even though it's really poofy now. I just love all the colors and it's, it, it turned out really, really pretty. I do really enjoy it. I wanted my doll to be um, pretty youthful and young, but I had a lot of trouble with this face. I uh, had to redo the eyes a couple times, and I just was having a lot of trouble getting exactly how I wanted it to look. You would think... Um, it would be pretty easy because uh, Bunny Blanc is such a young looking doll with a big round face and big eyes but I just I wasn't able to get it quite how I wanted um, and then the eyebrows I wanted to be like round and fun and those weren't really doing what I wanted either but I mean it's it's trial and error it's a process when you aren't quite happy with the doll, what you can do is just erase and redo it. And when there's a layer that you actually like how it looks, you spray it with Mr. Super Clear, which is a um, matte fixative that allows you to draw on the plastic. So whenever there was a part that I did actually like how it looked, I would make sure to spray it. Uh, my materials that I'm using are pastels and watercolor pencils. I'm also using this kneaded eraser, which makes things a lot easier because you can mold the eraser into like really thin, tiny shapes in order to get your into your mistakes and uh, like to shape the lips and to clean up um, the pastels. I use light colors to sketch out what I wanted, and then I'm going in with darker colors to try to get um, 
darker lines and to figure out exactly what I wanted to do. Um, I ended up making a unicorn horn for this doll, uh, which was very, very simple, and I want to re... Um, if I ever make another unicorn doll, to revisit that and put a lot more detail into it. But um, a second ago, you saw me just kind of like put the place the horn on the head to see how exactly uh, where it was going to be and what to do with the rest of the face. I was having so much trouble building up colors on this doll. It was insane. So in addition to this being my first time rerouting a doll, it was also my first time using um, acrylics. I didn't really do that process here um, for the base of the doll because it looked really, really bad and I was terrified and I thought it looked so crappy and I was like, I've ruined this doll and I spent all this time rerouting it and I, I was so upset with myself but I kept powering through and figuring out what exactly I was doing. I um, am drawing on like eyelashes with, uh, first I sketched it in with pencil, and then I'm going in with a very, very thin um, brush with purple acrylic to do the pupils and also the lashes. I did not have a very tiny brush, so what I ended up doing was taking a razor blade to a already thin brush that I had and just kind of... Um, I chopped that thing a little bit to make sure that I could do what I wanted to do. Trying to make the lips a little bit darker and such. I feel like this is a relatively like simple face up, which kind of like, I just definitely stuff I need to work on. Also, I have had this video recorded for ages, but the file keeps getting corrupted, so I apologize in advance. I use silver glitter paint to add freckles, and then I also put in white paint, which I thought made it look really cute. I added in some highlights in the eyes and some more glitter over the, um, the color and eyelashes, which are a lot longer than I normally like, but I, um, I thought it fit the doll with its whimsical fantasy aspect. Bonnie Blanc's hands are black because she's wearing gloves, so I did my best to paint, um, to get the color match the gloves to be correct. Um, I need to figure out a good way to do the joints because the joints are still black, and I also need to water down the paint a little bit more. I take my two-part epoxy sculpt to make a unicorn horn. This is my first time using epoxy. Actually, there's a lot of firsts with this doll. I didn't even realize that. <laughs> I, um, wow, yeah, so this doll was very, very experimental for me. But I just simply use the whole, um, just roll it out a little bit, put it on um, the unpainted doll, I know I'm, my timeline's a little out of whack here, but I wanted to do uh, the face up first. And it kept sagging, so I kind of had to hold it in place for a little bit for it to um, set, which um, took mm, an hour or so before I, um, not an hour or so, I lied. It took a couple hours because it's relatively small. I painted it white and then I put glue on it, and this is a very, very high-tech method. Um, I don't know if you beginners would be able to do it. Yep, look at that. Oh my gosh, that is very, very advanced. I, uh, I don't even know how to tell you guys how hard it was to apply the glitter to that. But um, don't mind me, it's obviously really dumb. <laughs> and then I think I sprayed it and it took forever for the horn to set as you can see I have to kind of fight with it some and I added a little star and a gemstone to her face to make her more whimsical I painted on um, some little nails with some white nails onto her hands and I actually made a dress completely out of lace without a pattern um, and I really like how it turned out. I really like how it frames the boobies. It's so pretty. And then I added a whole bunch of 
pearls and little gemstones to make it sparkly. And this is the finished doll. I add some glitter to her shoulders and I braided the sides of the hair into little fishtails for a ponytail and I, I do really like how she turned out. I wish the face was a little bit better, but I am very pleased with this doll. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. I hope you have a phenomenal day and keep being extraordinary. Bye!